Hey there, everybody. It's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a game that I had to look at an online pronunciation guide, and I'm going to do my best here. Brussel, 1897. I'm going to assume that I still did not do terribly well. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this because this is a smaller card game. Let's get a better look at the components. Looks like we are... 1897. The year is 1897. Art Nouveau is taking over the streets of Brussels as the World's Fair opens its doors. The time has come to cement your name in the history of art. It's a strategic card game based on the board game Brutzels 1893, and I'm probably butchering that, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Two to four players, 45 to 60 minutes. Let's take a look inside. I'm assuming we're going to be focusing primarily on cards in this game. And let's see if we can get an idea of what those cards look like. So here is our rule book with a component list. We've got a game board, uh, 28 architects cards, and then 83 action cards, which I assume are going to be the, the main aspect of the game. Strategic card game played over four rounds. You'll use your architect cards to perform actions in the Art Nouveau and Brussels areas. All right, so here we've got our setup of the game. Looks like we've got a different number of cards based on uh, the number of players, okay? Uh, so the game consists of four rounds separated into three consecutive phases, the preparation phase, the action phase, and the majority phase. And uh, goes into more detail for each of those phases, giving you some examples as well, which is always nice. Uh, we've got different effects of the nobles, okay? With some examples for each, which is always nice. This box gives you some important, as it says, information. The different actions in the different areas, along with examples of each. The majority phase. And then, finally, the end of the game. Uh, after the majority phase of the fourth round, it's time for final scoring. And there's a five-step process for final scoring. Most victory points is the winner, as you might expect. All right. So let's take a look. We've got, it looks like a small action board here. All right, but nice. It has kind of that distinctive art that the board game was known for. Okay. We've got some wooden components. Very basic. There we go. Colored squares. And cards. A very large deck of cards. And thankfully, already almost open. So I don't have to struggle too much. I'm going to kind of break this deck in half here so we can kind of look through. Now, it looks like, just off first glance, it's mostly just art here, which is nice. Um, no text to speak of, just that kind of Art Nouveau style, which is really, uh, I mean, it's a pretty striking look to the game. It's very distinctive. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, okay. So, different art represented on these cards. Now we're starting to see some elements of action cards giving you some symbology, iconography to show you what you can do, how to score points. Looks like we've got some coin cards here, some currency cards. And we've got more. I kind of broke the deck in half. Um, let's see here. More of that striking art for you with some action on the bottom there okay these look to be more kind of a classic do this to get that type of a thing giving you a bit of a structure on those cards all right so here are some of the different these might be the architects perhaps Georges Brugman I should not try to pronounce these names Prince Albert I can I can pronounce that one Charles Bulls, Victor Horta, Emile Vanderveld, Paul Hunkar, and more of those distinctive artistic buildings. So, there you have, I'm going to try, is it Brussels, 1897? Hopefully I didn't uh, do that too much uh, damage. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.
Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.